Hello there everyone and welcome back. My name is Kev Tendo and today I'm going to be showing a picture I drew of Comey from the Comey Can't Communicate anime. So I kept hearing people talk about the anime and at that point I hadn't watched it so I decided to go through and watch it and I actually do like the show. It, it's a nice calm anime. I think I feel like sometimes I, I need to like watch a nice just kind of peaceful relaxing show. Uh, not something I feel like I need to invest too much in the story but you can just sit there and just watch and i like the show i, I like the um the the big delinquent guy <laughs> but like the big muscular delinquent guy who like everyone's afraid of or whatever i i like i like him i like his interactions uh when he's whenever he's on screen i just like the interactions that he has so I wanted to draw this in the style of the show because the, the style really kind of stuck out to me. Like I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I always it, it, it always looked kind of weird to me just because like, like the head seems like it's shorter or whatever. I don't know. But in the end, I ended up liking the style of it. So that made me want to actually try drawing in the style of the show. Now, I think around here, yep, yep, right, right around here, we are starting to get into coloring. And I think I don't I'm trying to think. If I actually started coloring it here, or I just did black and white so I could see what the different coloring was. And then I ended up taking all the black and white. Oh, I did do this. I was trying out something different. So oh, that looks like, <laughs> looks like she has an Afro. <laughs> uh, I, I was trying something different here. Cause usually in these pictures, I always try to try something new. So here I tried coloring it in black, white, and grays. And then after that, turning the blacks, the whites, and the grays into color. So I ended up doing that here. That's how I ended up getting like the highlights here. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, geez, this goes by really fast. So I ended up taking the, the highlights here, put some highlights on, and then I ended up going through. I turned all the black into this like darker purple, which looks kind of different on my computer screen than it does on my iPad. But on the recording, it looks more like my iPad. That's weird. <laughs> So I ended up coloring that and then next I went and I started to color in her school uniform. Added some lighter shading there on the top. I also added some like a little bit of more saturated purple there like at the bottom of the bangs to like help it stand out more. Then I started working on her skin. I started working on the shading from her hair onto her face. Uh, went and colored in her eyes a little bit. I, I added these like little eye shiny parts here, but I, I'm not sure if I removed them at the end or I made them not stand out as much because it, it kind of doesn't feel like i don't know how to explain it um normally her eyes are like this actually and that to me feels more like comey than adding the the eye shinies is that's what i call my shinies um because that looks less like comey and it's just adding some eye shinies right it, it doesn't seem like it's too big of a deal I don't know. That was just one of the things I noticed, but I, I, I put on a separate layer so I could always turn it off if I wanted. Went back and adjusted the shading on her shirt there and then the shading on her neck. And then I went and added the shading on her clothes. There we go. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, am I going to color in this bottom part? And then after that, it's just a bunch of touching it up. Um, but pretty much we're, we're pretty much done here. And then I went and wrote my name. Uh, and I think I added a background. What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. So I went back over like all the, the black line art here and I ended up coloring it in like I had been doing in my other pictures. So I turned it from black and then I turned it into like purple and then I went back over the eyes. I should have gone back over the eyes and made them darker. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I guess I didn't. But yeah, so then I ended up doing that and then I ended up adding like a little background. Oh yeah, there it is, the little purple. And that is the end of the time lapse. And you can see here I did um, take the eye shinies and I like toned them down a little bit so they are still there. If I zoom in a little bit more, you can see it. Um, let, actually, let me do this. Oh, ha, wha. Go here and do this. And then go back to red. There we go. So you can see I still have the like little eye shiny there. I just toned it down a little bit more so it was still there. It just didn't stand out as much or it didn't stick out as much. So it's still there. So this one is really fun to make. I really like how this one turned out. I think it looks better when it's like zoomed in. Like that, maybe. There we go. That's better. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a fun picture for me to make. I, I was able to try a couple of things like again coloring in black, white, and gray, and then, you know, I, I guess that's called grayscale? 
correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if that's grayscale. <laughs> and then like working my way up from the grays to coloring and, and that seemed to work well for this one. But yeah, so this is fun to draw. This is fun to make. And I hope you guys had fun watching. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.